Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway. I run the Amberlynn Files website, the Tudor Society hub of all things Tudor. And I've also written several books on Tudor history, but I'm sure you know me by now. Today, I can't actually say On This Day in Tudor History because today I'm actually taking you back to 1617, which is in the Stuart period. Um, the 29th of April 1617. It was the day that Sir Drew Drury, try saying that uh, without much saliva in your mouth, uh, courtier, member of parliament, friend of Thomas Howard, fourth Duke of Norfolk, and a man who served as Lieutenant of the Tower of London, died at his home, Riddlesworth Hall in Norfolk. And he was laid to rest in the local parish church, Riddlesworth Parish Church. Now, he was 85 when he died, which is such a wonderful age for a Tudor man. Although, funnily enough, his tomb states that he was 99. But historians dispute that. Historians who've looked into his uh, into the records, you know, into his life, they dispute that and put his age at around 85. Now, as I said, 1617 is in the Stuart period, but Sir Drew Drury was prominent in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Now, he's one of those when I come across his name and I think, who are you? I haven't come across you before. And I love to start digging into these people's lives because they're people that you don't hear much about. So I thought I'd share with you some facts about Drew Drury. Okay, so he was born in around 1531-1532, so that's in the reign of King Henry VIII, and he was son of landowner Sir Robert Drury and his wife Elizabeth. He was educated at St Edmund's Hostel in Cambridge. Um, in 1559, so not long after Queen Elizabeth I came to the throne, he was appointed as a gentleman usher of the Privy Chamber. And this was a position he held right up until his death. He served as a Member of Parliament uh, for Mitchell in Cornwall in 1559, for Camelford, that's also in Cornwall, in 1563, and then for Norfolk in 1584. <coughs> now, as I mentioned, he was a good friend of Thomas Howard, 4th Duke of Norfolk, and this friendship led to Drew getting into a little bit of trouble. Um, he actually ended up being imprisoned <clears throat> from December 1559 until early 1561. He was imprisoned because of a brawl. There was a disagreement between, well, Norfolk and Robert Dudley, <clears throat> excuse me, over Elizabeth I's close relationship with Dudley. And Drew Drury ended up sort of getting involved in this disagreement and it ended up there being a bit of a brawl and Drew, unfortunately, ended up being imprisoned. Fortunately for Drew, though, he managed to avoid getting caught up in Norfolk's later plotting, so he avoided being executed for that. <coughs> Drew... Sorry, my voice. Drew got married to Elizabeth, who was daughter of Sir Philip Calthorpe and his wife, Jane Boleyn. Now, this Jane Boleyn wasn't the wife of George Boleyn, brother of Queen Anne Boleyn. She was another member of the Boleyn family. She was actually Queen Anne Boleyn's um, auntie. Now, Elizabeth had been widowed twice. Um, and her and Drew set up home in Riddlesworth Hall, which Drew had had uh, built for them for their marriage. The marriage was childless. Um, Elizabeth died and Drew went on to marry again, Catherine Finch, and he had four children with her. Drew served as a Justice of the Peace for Norfolk and also for Middlesex and as a Sheriff of Norfolk in 1576-1577. Uh, he was also Custus Rotolorum or Keeper of the Rolls from 1583. He was knighted in 1579 and in 1586 he and Sir Amias Paulette 
were chosen to supervise Mary, Queen of Scots, during her imprisonment. He also served, as, as I said earlier, as Lieutenant of the Tower of London, serving in that position from 1595 to 1596. And I just find it interesting that this man who was imprisoned at one time <coughs> ended up being Mary, Queen of Scots's jailer, and then being Lieutenant of the Tower of London, I just, that tickles me, but um, I'm, e I'm easily pleased and tickled, so uh, I just find that uh, a bit funny. So there you go, so Drew Drury, who died on this day in the Stuart period, of the 29th of April, 1617, but who was an important man in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. So Drew Drury, great name. You can subscribe to this channel by just clicking there. You can hit the bell to be notified of new videos, but you can rest assured that I'm here every day with more Tudor goodies for you. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.